Queen Elizabeth II reportedly sent a note to her kitchen staff about a dead slug she discovered in her salad, according to her former royal servant. According to Charles Oliver, her former royal servant, the Queen made an interesting response after finding a dead slug on her dinner plate. He recounted the tale in his book Dinner at Buckingham Palace, in which he first noted the Queen and Philip used to eat at dinner with notepads with them, to send notes about their dinner to the kitchen. The notepad was useful when the Queen reportedly found a slug in her salad and sent a note back to the royal chefs. He said, once, on a torn-off top sheet the footman found the dead body of a slug. The monarch had written, I found this in the salad, could you eat it, which was next to the animal's body. According to Cosmopolitan, British culture researcher Brian Kozlowski recounted the incident in his book Long Live the Queen, 23 Rules for Living from Britain's Longest Reigning Monarch. Oliver suggested the Queen employs the use of the pad so she can write down notes about culinary likes and dislikes from her guests' food preferences which the staff will reference the next time they are in the Queen's company. This is duly recorded by the kitchen and remembered, should the guest come again. He wrote, the Queen will make a discreet note for future reference, this is duly recorded by the kitchen and remembered, should the guest come again. Oliver claimed that the Queen's notepad usually remains blank as she is, not fussy about food. According to royal biographer, Katie Nichol, the Queen's breakfast consists of a simple cup of tea and biscuits, followed by a bowl of cereal. According to the Queen's former chef Darren McGrady lunch often includes grilled fish with courgettes or wilted spinach. According to the Telegraph, the Queen's favorite cereal choice for breakfast is Special K, which is stored in plastic Tupperware as the Queen believes it keeps the cereal fresh. The Queen also likes fish for breakfast, the book Dinner at Buckingham Palace reveals. An extract told how the Queen has been partial to kippers since the war years when she and Princess Margaret were at Windsor Castle. Kippers, in a number of uncomplicated variations, have remained a favorite with the Queen ever since, for breakfast, as a savory or a late-night supper. The Queen is also fond of smoked haddock as a breakfast dish, another diary excerpt read.